I'm born in Iceland, so there are volcanoes all around. A volcano is never going to stop. Volcanoes go to sleep between eruptions. We are living in volcanic areas. We know that these volcanoes are alive. Uh, the only problem with the volcanoes, they live much longer than we. Because a volcano can live for uh, one million years, and our lifespan is only 60 to 80 years. We still see glow in the lava fields during the night. Glowing lava is glowing when it is above 600 degrees centigrade and you cannot keep the same eye glowing unless you are bringing constantly in new lava. So surface activity is no longer spectacular. The magma comes and goes just directly into the lava that has been set in place. What we are trying to do in this eruption is to get as much information as we can on how we should react when the lavas come down to our houses. And we are doing them out of different material. Some are very well done, which means that we have time to think. Others are done very, very quickly, which means that we don't have time to think. And what we are reacting, and we want to see how long will they withstand the lava. As an isolator, I am ready to leave the house within, let's say, 15 to 20 minutes. I think most of the Icelanders, they are ready to go. We know that the peninsula is coming alive after 700 years. So we know that now in the next 50 to 150 years, we will be expecting many eruptions in different places on the peninsula. We believe that we have a good system enough that people will not be injured or die, so that we will have a good enough uh, time before the eruption to evacuate, exactly like was done in La Palma. Does that mean that we should all move away from the peninsula? No. We should just do preparation, we should try to understand what's going on. And in Iceland we have a system for that. So we have a natural catastrophe insurance which belongs to the state. And so everyone that will lose their houses under a lava in the future, the state will take care of all that so you don't lose everything. La Palma, it is very steep. And this helps the lava to flow go faster down to the sea. Let's hope that the Spanish government does, like in Iceland, just helps people to build again. And so that they can keep on living in La Palma if they choose so. In Iceland, we have over 100 volcanoes. 30 of them we are monitoring extremely closely, and five of them even more closely. So now we have changed the aviation code for three volcanoes. That's the one that's erupting right now, and then it's Askja up in the north, and Grimsvöth underneath Vatnajökull glacier. So those we have under a microscope. We have not declared that the eruption is over. We're still seeing a lot of gas come up, there's a lot of heat coming up. So for now the eruption is still on, but it's very quiet. We have been seeing an earthquake storm northeast of the eruption, which is indicating that the magma is trying to get up in that location. They are quite deep, they're at five, six kilometer depth. So we are not worried that it will come up in the next day or so, but we're keeping a close eye on it. Icelanders think of eruption is more actually of a positive thing. The eruptions have given us a lot 
our agriculture, our tourists and our economy even. So it hasn't really posed a threat to, to human life. So when we have an eruption, people kind of flock to the eruption site and go to see it. So it's not something we are too scared of, I think. This is nature. This is not anything we can control. We decide to live in proximity to volcanoes because they also give us a lot. Um, I would just trust the authorities and, and get as much knowledge as you can and prepare as much as you can. But we will never be able to stop an eruption, that's for sure.